Hello everyone. I'm just posting our our live photo. So today I'm using this extremely old collection that I never got to using, got around to using. And I keep seeing it in my stash. It's one of the few things that I actually kept around when I did my big D stash. And I thought, why not try to use it? I've had, um, what are, what am I trying to say? I've had cards from this kit as well. Were they frames or cards or both? It was like a little pack of not, actually it might've been these cards right here and frames and things like that. And I did manage to use most of those, but I never got around to using all of the papers and I'm liking the color palette. So thought, why not? This is actually the first time I've opened it and looked at all of these individually. So let's see. Oh no, those cards are these ones. So the, the cards that I had from this collection were square. I'm remembering now. And they had these same um, little images on the square cards that I had. Cute. Hello, Larissa. Welcome. Glad to see you were able to make it. Hello, hello. So this is the, it's a kit from ages ago. It's the Farmer's Market page kit from We Are Memory Keepers. And I keep seeing it in my stash. It's one of the few things I kept when I did my big D stash. Um, and so I thought, why not try to use it? It has a nice color palette. Let's adjust the brightness for you guys. And I was saying, this is the first time I've actually opened the kit and looked at all of these pages. Uh, most of the pages have these, like, distressed lines in them. You can kind of see it there on the camera. Not a ton, though. Oh, that's definitely how it works. Yes. You absolutely need to buy this kit. Anyone that has ever been to a farmer's market, heard of a farmer's market, has seen a picture of a farmer's market, has an excuse to buy this kit, if you can still find it at least. Oh, those are cute. Hello, Caitlin. Okay, now we're getting into the two sheets of stickers. So there's large tile alphas, and then there's medium and small. All are tile alphas. Those are cute. And then just a big sheet of matching icons. So let's see what we can put together. Get that out of the way. Um, I don't know if I want to do a 9x12 or an 8.5x11. I haven't decided yet. I'm kind of really liking 9x12, even though I was so against it not that long ago. I was convinced it was not the size for me. 
So I have these two photos handy, and then I keep meaning to document. Hi, Amber. So I guess I have to decide if I want to do a vertical or horizontal photo first. How is everyone today? What are you guys what are you guys up to? Are you working on something or um, just watching and relaxing? I don't know which one. I feel like they both look good, but I'm going to go with this one because I feel like the colors are really complementary to each other. Okay, where's my paper trimmer? Where am I? Ooh, hey Mel. I feel like all frazzled yet again. Not time to pre no time to prepare. So I was just scrambling at the last minute. I think I'm gonna do nine by twelve. Having the extra space allows me to do some extra layering, especially when I'm doing a full four by six photo. Um, so we're gonna do a nine by 12. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Hope you feel better soon. Cody and I have been, other than working today, we've been preparing, like, getting the air mattress out of storage and everything because my mom is coming to visit tonight, and she's staying the whole weekend. So I'm really excited about that. Get some crafty time in. Okay, now I need to choose my papers. Do you guys have any fun weekend plans? That's that's where I was going with that story. Definitely yellow. But I just don't know which yellow. Maybe this maybe this yellow. I don't think I want to use the blue. I think I'll do yellow. Um I like the this like tile looking pattern. A nice neutral ish. Some stripes. Ooh, maybe a floral. And I like that one also. Although it doesn't really quite fit the mood I'm going for. Okay. And then I'm going to leave this one out because I think I want to fussy cut some of these things. I'll leave these stripes out as well. Oh, fun. Oh, yeah. Father's Day is this Sunday. I keep forgetting. All right, what do I want to do with these papers? That's the next question because, like I said, I did not plan at all, so I don't know where this is going. Yeah, it's a really fun kit. It's even a little bit more like whimsical than I usually gravitate toward, but there are enough elements in it that you can really get a non-whimsical look out of it as well. So I'm just trying to see which photo I want to put, or which um, paper color pattern, all of the above, that I want to put behind my photo. Uh, 
I'm leaning toward one of these. That one's just really clean. That one kind of pops in a fun way. I think this one's the best of both of these. Clean, but also poppy. Uh, that's Cody's mom. We were sitting at a table at a restaurant um, the last time she came to visit. This is the farmer's market kit from We Are Memory Keepers. Your best bet at finding it is probably Tuesday morning. It's been quite a few years since it's been out, I think, online anywhere. This, the whole inside of this, I know I showed you guys this last time or the time before, but it's still annoying because it keeps getting caught on things. Okay. While I'm throwing all my tape in here. Quick reminder that Crafty Lady Tees are available, but they won't be available after Monday. So if you haven't heard about them yet or haven't grabbed one and wanted to, Monday is the last day. I thought I felt my, my watch vibrate, but it was just telling me to breathe. Um... I, I do a lot of different creating, like a ton. And I couldn't keep up with the amount of refills that I would have to use if I used a tape runner. Um, and then I just kind of felt bad because it is a lot of plastic if I was going through it at the rate that I was going through it because of the, the little refill things. Um, and you can get a fairly large roll of double-sided tape on Amazon for just a couple bucks so that's why double-sided tape it has nothing to do with like preference or anything it's just the most reasonable option for me and I like that it um since I do use it, I mean, there are things about it that I like. And I one of those things is how strong it is. So if I'm doing, like, mixed media or anything like that, I don't have to... My fingers are stuck to it. <laughs> I don't have to switch my adhesives. I can just use that over the mixed media. Although I do use a combination of that and my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive or Scotch Tacky Adhesive, tacky glue, tacky something or other. I never remember which one's the new name and which one's the old name. I think I actually cut one even for once in my life. Wow. This is a great start to a layout, guys. I did it again. Who am I? Who am I and what did I do with Susanna? Oh, thank you so much for subscribing, Caitlin. I appreciate you. Okay. Good start. Now. I want to do something with this one because of how pretty it is. And I'm kind of leaning toward just making the majority of my background this pattern paper, which is crazy for me because I'm not a pattern paper background type of person. But hey, I keep saying it. I'm trying to jump out of my recipe routine this year. So maybe let's try it out. Why not? Yeah, I really dislike having to pull the backing off. And for the first few, I would say even like the first few months that I was using it, I would dread putting adhesive on anything because of, <laughs> because of having to peel the backing off of it all. Um, now I don't even notice it. It's just 
muscle memory at this point, so it doesn't bother me quite as much, but I do know what you mean. Oh, yay, Carolee, thank you. Your high and your love have been received and they are appreciated. Good luck with your coaching school call. I hope it goes well. Hello, Elizabeth. I'm really, yeah, I'm really enjoying this color palette of this kit. I don't know how far, I want it to be more than half, which is about there. I guess that's right there. I'm putting my head in here. That, yeah. Ooh, how is it still uneven? Oh, I probably trimmed this a little bit larger than 12 inches, I would guess. Or maybe I put it on a little crooked, who knows. The prime thing is pretty enticing. Now I'm just putting adhesive behind this paper to finish adhering it down because I did only put adhesive on one side of it when I first stuck it down. There we go, now you guys have a better view. <laughs> I am looking that close. That's the problem. Ooh, that, that's like a celebratory thing, Carolee. The last one. Congratulations. Yikes, just almost ripped my entire paper apart. Okay. There we go. That's exciting though, especially if you're enjoying it. Where did I put my paper trimmer and how do I keep losing it? Never mind. Oh, Drea, hello. I'm gonna try to cut this on my paper trimmer. I feel like using my. Okay. Oh, perfect. Look at that. I'm. 100% shocked that I did not slice off part of like the actual paper. I'm never able to get that right, which is always why I use my scissors for that type of stuff. Which now I'm kind of wondering if I should just try it. Uh, that's kind of a small piece. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Could go terribly wrong. Oh, it's too, it's too close. I did rip the corner of my paper. Should have known. Oh no, I don't think I ripped it. I just cr crunched it, like scrunched it up. There we go. I actually not, that, not even cut that off. Yeah, it's gonna bother me. Okay, there we go. Y'all know I cannot cut straight lines, so. 
see how this goes. Okay, I cut into my paper a tiny bit, and then this is really uneven down here. Good enough. <laughs> so, it is bluey green. Well, the, I still have yet to change out the emotes to ones that we can actually use. That's actually on my to-do list for next week. But when I first created them, we didn't really have any like inside jokes or anything like that. So I was just kind of blindly creating cool things. And that's just my, <laughs> I was lacking creativity and that's what happened. That's what ended up being one of the emotes was an eraser and a pair of scissors because they reminded me of the Tim Holtz scissors. And what was the last one? A cat. Hmm? Yeah, Eliza, my mom's cat. Okay, I'm trying to decide now if I want to do, yes, I do want to do a layer of this before I start adding in the red. Now that I am a little bit more creative, but even not that much more. I'm wondering why I didn't do something like a smiley face or, um, I don't know, just something that could actually be used because when I was creating them, Cody and I think even talked about like, what is somebody gonna use this for though? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> One of these days, we'll get my face in emote form. Uh, we're talking about the subscriber exclusive emotes. There's three of them. Yeah, the cat will stay. The cat will stay, mainly because I really like it. And we do discuss animals quite a bit here. Um, and then I have two other ones that I'm going to be, no, three other ones that I'm going to be adding because we can have four now. So we're moving on up in the world, guys. The number of emotes you're allowed to make depends on the number of subscribers you have. So as you, as more people subscribe, you have more slots open up for new emotes. So that's, that's just what I meant by that. Um, let's the emotes are only visible, I believe, if you are subscribed on one of the three tiers or have used your Amazon Prime subscription. So one of those two ways to subscribe. If you aren't subscribed, then I don't think you can even see the emotes. You can? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see them, but you just can't use them? Yeah. Oh, you just can't use them. Good thing we have Stream Manager to tell us how it really is, because I just pretend like I know what's going on. Yeah, I've seen that guy a lot. Cody, who is that guy? Do you yeah. know who that guy is? The There's screaming a guy? people that they're based off. No, I know, but like, is that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you knew who that one was. Oh, I didn't read that properly at all. You have a Dorito? Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, that's, a, I don't know. I. My knowledge is limited here. Oh my gosh, it's like an actual Dorito. It's not even like a, it's like a photo of a Dorito, not even a Dorito illustration. Wow, even though it's tiny, it's so realistic looking. I'm impressed, I will say that. I don't know what the, what the usage of it is, like when you would need to use a Dorito emoji. I'm assuming the person that made it has a specific purpose for it. Yeah, 
Maybe they eat a lot of Doritos while they're streaming. Okay, this next layer I'm going to do, I'm going to rip the bottom edge to give it a little bit of interest because we're doing a lot of square like straight lines right now. And I didn't do any mixed media on the background, so got to add some interest in there somehow. Wow, almost, not too far off. Guys, maybe I'm finally learning how to use a paper trimmer. Might finally be happening. Ooh. They did do the top a little bit longer on purpose because the bottom will also be longer, so. Okay, it feels very like tea party esque to me. I don't know how I feel about that. Kind of, there's a glare from my light going on. But you guys, see the majority of what's going on. I have no idea how the, the cheering works. I don't know how you do it or how you assign how many puppies someone gets. I know nothing. Okay, what am I doing now? Hmm. I think I'm going to start by using this little Maggie Holmes runner across here because it feels really abrupt and I feel like I just want something to break up the straight line question is do I want my words facing in or out in I think ah it's not going well guys oh no hold on probably can't see that because it's so small but like it started to transfer and then only transferred half of the word Ugh, and I can't scrape it away. Okay. Oh, geez. I have my diffuser going over here. And it was pointing right at my little swirly thing with this in it. And it, this is like dripping. I didn't realize that much mist came out of the diffuser. I'm trying to aim it somewhere else. Okay. Back to what I was doing. Back to the task at hand. Oh, yeah, this is going terribly. Okay. There's something about this paper that this runner does not like today. It was fine yesterday. I don't know what's wrong with it or how to fix it. So I'm just not going to deal. I'm not going to deal with that. And instead, we will use a very thin piece of this pattern paper as like a transition color and to cover up this mess that just ended up there. We'll use our super thin tape. It's finally coming in. It comes in handy every now and then. But I don't think it comes in handy enough that I can justify the poor, like, manufacturing job. Because even the tape itself is, like, cut really wonky. And some of them, some of the like pieces of this double-sided tape, the backing is split into like five different slices. Very odd. Maybe I just got a bad roll because I've used their other size tapes before and never had this issue. Yeah. 
I try to put that back in because it does help the roll hold its shape. I feel like if they just made the roll like with a smaller inside loop, so the roll ended up smaller itself, that all of that wouldn't be an issue like it is. Oh, this is not going to be thick enough to cover that. Oh, well, that's a bummer. I'll just put a little gap in between the two. That looks nice. Yeah. There's going to be a little... Come on, thing. What is going on over here? There's going to be a little white line between this pattern paper and the yellow pattern paper that I'm putting down. Just so that I can cover that black writing from the tape that didn't work out. This little thing. I can at least try to put it down straight. Ah, we're already getting crooked. How? I'm using a ruler. Ugh. Struggle, you guys. I'm having terrible luck with this ruler situation. Or why I'm struggling so much. <laughs> it's extremely crooked. Why did I use the ruler? Sometimes I, when I am crafting and things like this happen, I wonder to myself, like, is this a daily occurrence in people's lives? Do other people have these types of weird issues? Or am I just really terrible at certain things? I'm fine with either. I just would like to know. Okay, let's see. Okay, almost, almost fixed. I, the paper is a little ripped and mangled, but that's okay. It'll, it'll survive. Okay, and then I'm... Yes, it does make me wonder that, because I definitely followed that ruler, but it was extremely crooked. I think my... Whoa, check you out. 40 hearts. Well, thank you. My ruler is bent. And it's a little sliced on the side, because I used a craft knife with it, even though it's plastic. Um, so it's probably the ruler. I want to make sure this is going to stick because I did peel most of the adhesive back when I was pulling it up. Okay, the rest should stay because we're going to put stuff over it. Yeah, okay. It's looking a little better. Um, it still feels so, like, clean and proper and Tea Party-esque. Hold on. This light is bothering me. Sorry. I feel like it's providing me the light that I expect it to. Here. Bumping the camera, but I realize that I need. Um, okay, a little better. Cody, did I move these lights at any point? No. Oh, okay. When, maybe when you dusted them? Oh, maybe. I was dusting everywhere today, and I probably moved one of them when I was dusting. Okay, I'll leave it. I'll fix it later. <laughs> if your old cutter was a Fiskars one with a little wire, 
then no, it was the, definitely the cutter because I had one of those and it cut crooked every single time. It feels so clean. What, is, what does it need? What is it missing? Spiders. Oh, well, yeah, splatters at the end always, but <laughs> I wish I put some paint down or some ink or something. I'm just not, it's too perfect for me. I could put some tissue paper to liven things up. We'll try that. Oh, Cody has graced us with his presence. I just picture you tipping a fedora when you say that. Ladies? Cody doesn't wear fedoras, but that's what I think of. <laughs> yes, that is what I was thinking. little tips fedora thing. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't know about that. And yes, I do keep punching the camera stand, if you're wondering. It's because my trash can was tucked underneath it, and that's just not good for anyone. Here they are, right in front of me. Oh man. Okay, tonight just must be one of those nights because this isn't even tissue paper that I'm using right now, my friends. I, I should have known. What are those, what are those little emojis? A little man with some corn or some wheat? Like a farmer? <laughs> Or a detective and a little, what is that, a boy symbol? What is that? Is that a male symbol? Yeah, I think so. A boy detective or a man farmer? Are those our options? Oh, the fedora. Oh, duh. Oh my gosh. Now I see the little, it's like a feather. Yes, okay, I'm understanding what's going on now. Thank you for translating. Sometimes I'm just, <laughs> takes me a minute to get there. Um, what was I gonna say about that? That little first guy emoji, the little hair with like the little mustache, if you turn his hair blonde, I mean, Cody has a beard. He doesn't just have like a creeper mustache, but if you turn that little emoji's hair blonde, that's basically what Cody looks like. I have that emoji next to his name in my phone because it reminds me so much of him. I'm going to put one more layer of tissue paper. This doesn't need to be out anymore. No, I really got some, like paper funk on that little pokey tool. <sighs> now all of a sudden nothing is fitting. Stay. Jeez. Does anybody else feel like today has been two days long? Because I do. All right. Oh, I never finished telling you guys what this was. It's, um, it's like some sort of product packaging. So it's not tissue paper and it's not like parchment paper, but it's like a weird in between the two type situation and it doesn't give the same type of like crinkly carefree texture that tissue paper does um, and tissue paper is much more delicate as well so that's why i was bummed that this wasn't tissue paper um it's just not as i don't know it just it doesn't give the same look How does this 
I'm just going to spare myself from the future annoyance and get rid of that while I can. Okay, I figured it wasn't only me that felt that way about today. Let's see. Okay. Um, is your guys' screen extremely washed out? Or is it just what it looks like on my screen? I know I ask you that a lot, but again, I have like three different places to look. And they all look different. I know, I just got really quiet. I was thinking, trying to figure out where I'm taking this layout. I like it. It's not that I dislike it. I just, it's like missing something and I can't put my finger on what it is exactly that it's missing. So I'm thinking. Okay, good. Thank you for letting me know. There, that might help a tiny bit. Hello. Hello. You just visiting? I was just looking. Oh, okay. Do you know what it's missing? No. I don't either. Splatters. Oh, okay. I appreciate embellishments. your I appreciate Needs your input. Embellishments. Yes, you're right. It does need embellishments. I appreciate your input. Go back to you what are you more? eating Cheez Its or something? No, I was feeding Tina. Oh. You got more? No, it's okay. Thank you though. No. Um Oh, you know, <laughs> my computer was at pretty low brightness as well. So thank you for that. Thank you for that. I turned the brightness up and it looks a little bit better than I was thinking it looked. So good. All right. I need to take this somewhere. What am I doing with it? Let's see what other papers we have in here. Maybe we can add some more like ripped edges and... Oh, I got an idea. Okay. How about let's do... <laughs> He knows me well. He, he knows me and my creative style very well. Okay, we could do something like that. Or, okay, we're making progress. Or I think what might be fun is to put it on this side. Leave a little strip of the floral showing. And then, um, I don't know. I like that, but now I don't like the photo there. Yeah, he's very insistent that it needs the splatters, and it will get the splatters at the end, but I need to get to the end first. Okay, I'm going to put that there, because again... Gotta go somewhere, can't just stare at it, which is what I will do if I have permission to do so. I will just stare at it all night. Which is why I think I like streaming, because I don't have the opportunity to just kind of sit there and stare off into space all night. So then I actually get something done. Okay, that's exactly what I was thinking, turning it sideways so that it was a landscape orientation, Feel but Stop it. in the couch, yes. cats, man. Um, but I didn't know if that would be, I don't know. No, I don't want to say weird because I can do whatever I want in my rap book, but like weird to me. I don't know if I would feel okay with it being sideways. I'm going to look at it though before I tape anything down like that. And then putting this right there. I think it's kind of cool. Good night, Larissa. Thanks for popping in. It's kind of cool. I mean, I don't dislike it, but I don't know if I like it. Let me try it like this. Oh yeah, we're all on the same page tonight. That one's not bad. I 
could do something like something like that and then use some thickers to make some sort of title but I don't know I, I think it's stressing me because it's like very it's like screaming traditional scrapbook layout at me and when I think about traditional scrapbook layout I think of like crafty scissors and rounding corners and like scary scary things that I don't want to have on my layout we need some black because of the stripes because of the, these stripes hmm wow you guys this hasn't happened in a while where I feel this stumped about it and that's also I, I think the black is throwing me off because I tried to add the black right here along the edge and when that didn't work out I feel like I kind of lost my my flow the photo on like one of the sides left side obviously because I'm me and then embellish over here scaring me I know that it's silly it's like paper but it's I don't know not in a bad way oh poof hi I didn't know you were here oh everyone's yelling yes or exclaiming yes Do I, stay, do I stay in my comfort zone or do I go out of it? We're going to go out of it. Why not? I am the one that always says if I don't like it, I just don't look at it again. So let's give it a go. What is the no for? If the no is to the red paper, the red paper is to stay. I love the red paper. Unfortunately, that one is a... So staying right where it's at or is the no to the sideways outside outside what what are we talking about oh are you talking about outside to pook about always lurking i'm so lost i feel like you guys are in your own little club over there and i don't know what's going on yeah the two yellow Orders, maybe. I don't actually know what it is. Something is causing an issue in my brain. And it could honestly just be absolutely nothing and just that my brain feels like... Like not liking things tonight. Oh, no to it sideways. Oh, outside the comfort zone. I got it. I got it, guys. Okay, I'm catching up. Put that over there. And I don't know if I want the pattern at the top. I guess if I do the pattern at the top, I can do like a little scribbly, like journaly thing right here, which will make it look a little bit more me. I'm also not digging how straight of a line this paper was torn, was cut at, so. Okay, it's getting better, slowly. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Here we go. Cody and I cleaned the house today, and I don't know what I got on this arm, but right here and right here has been really itchy since we cleaned, and we don't use any chemically cleaners in our house, so I don't know what it could have been from, but my arm is not a fan. I'm sticking to the plan, guys. I'm just adhering this down before I change my mind about anything, because then the only way we can go is, like, toward the embellishment side of things and the splatters, which we all know. This layout needs the splatters. 
speaking right there, right there. It's also very twisted. It's like very sideways, but I'm, I'm okay with it, I think. Let's see. Okay, let's start embellishing. I first want to look at this little thing because I think some of these could be fussy cut out. And it'd be really cute. Like this little life is lovely thing is cute. I do know that it needs some black, so we are gonna have to do some like stamping and stuff. Um, oh, that happy days is cute. I think I'll fussy cut that. What am I cutting? Oh, okay. Oh no, you're totally fine. You're allowed to say you don't like something on during our streams. We're all friends here. I think it's turning out more red on camera anyway. In person, it's like a dark coral. It's not totally red. I'm not a fan of red itself. I think I've mentioned that before. It has to be like an orangish red or something along those lines. Just a lot of the colors I use don't work well with straight red. Um, so I think in the camera, it looks really bright red, but it's actually, it's like a dark coral. I'm only like that much into this fussy cutting and it's mostly straight lines and I'm already exhausted from it. I get bored with fussy cutting really easily so it has to be like something that I really want to use otherwise I give up. I have so many pre-cut embellishments. Sometimes it's just not worth it. But with this one I have a good feeling about it, so I'm going to keep going. I'm leaving a tiny little border. on most of it. I just completely cut my border off on that last that last trim. Can't even tell though. All right. That's kind of cute up there. It does need something behind it though. I think one of my issues is that there are a lot of the a lot of similar colors, so the the color from the flower is blending in with the stripes, is blending in with this part of the banner. I mix collections a lot so that I don't have to deal with this type of thing of them matching too much. Um, and I think that that might be one of the things that I'm kind of thrown off about. So let's see what I can add behind this to make it stand out from the background because it feels like it blends in a little bit too much. Yeah, Fussy Cutting and I are not friends either. It does. It makes my hand go numb as well. Um, these scissors work a little bit better for fussy cutting, I've found, than most, but I still try to avoid it. Um, let's see, what am I doing here? I'm looking at this thing, trying to figure out if there's anything I can put, it behind, put behind that. But it might be time to bring in a sheet from maybe a different collection or something to help this out. Dropped a bunch of stuff on the floor. Stand by. I dropped this paper pad filled with bits and pieces of the paper. So. 
Oh, thanks so much, Mel. Good night. Um, they are. They are the Tim Holtz scissors. This is the medium size. Um, the large ones, I find, are handy for things like trimming long strips of paper, but honestly, they're really hard for me to use. They're, it takes so much pressure right here to, like, work this piece that it just, I don't know. They're not friendly to use, I don't think. I use them when I have to, but this is really my favorite pair, and I really like the small pair as well. Okay, so this was on my desk. Could be fun to add some, like, bright blue in there. Or this was also on my desk. Let's see. Nice. Hmm. Quick water break. The hiccups again. Okay. I think I like that, but I still might bring in some of this blue, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down to this uh, wood green and then do a little fussy cutting again. I think that will help it stand out from the background a little bit. I think the fact that there were only light colors in the layout was what was mainly throwing me off. The, the red or the coral, whatever you want to call it, was um, the darkest color that I was using. So I think putting these deeper colors and then some stamping in there will help it out a lot. Just help balance it, basically. Cut this out. I'm just trying to create a tiny little wood grain border behind this banner. I went in from that side for that part because for some reason that's the part on the last cutting that I chopped the border off of. So I think it was a weird angle because going in that way worked well. I got really quiet because I was focusing because it was taking all of my concentration not to give up on the banner. <laughs> I was telling myself, like, we've made it this far. Just finish. I have to coach myself. Whew, okay. I think it was worth it, though. It definitely pops more than it did before. So, let's see. Before I adhere it down, I am going to try to figure out where I want to add this deep blue. And I'm thinking a small layer right behind this striped paper would add a nice little bit of, like, dimension. So...
see. Okay, it's gonna have to be trimmed down quite a bit. I put the tape really close to the edge on that one, so we don't have a ton of space behind that layer. I was using those scissors to hold it in place, in case you were wondering what I was doing. Um, so I'm gonna cut it to like right here. I'm gonna try to work this down in there to make it look like it belongs, like it was there when we did the initial layering. Take a little bit of maneuvering. Aha. Okay, yeah, I like that. Let's go ahead and put that down. Oh, almost lost that. Put a little too much glue under there, so I was just getting some of it out. Because I do want it to still have that, like, um, folding up dimension type look. There we go. All right. I'm gonna add this to this side. I'm gonna do the thinner piece over here, I think, because I don't wanna make this side look any smaller than it is. So doing a thinner piece will make it look the largest. Okay, I'm trying to, tweezers, that's what I need. Good night, Elizabeth. Sorry, you're having a connection issues. Those are annoying. Okay, same thing happened with the glue. So I just took a little bit out. Still, geez, I put a lot under there. All right, guys, now we're getting somewhere. Feeling a lot better about it. Um, I even try to throw a little bit under here. Let's see. It's like the perfect length to go under there. And it's just the remainder of this strip, so... Oh, duh, it's the perfect length, because I trimmed that, <laughs> that much of it out. But I am going to add that there. Now, embellishing. So I'm thinking... Oh, I forgot about that guy. We have that. Doesn't necessarily have to go at the top. I think I like it better on the side, actually. And then maybe some... You know, I do... This is like little tiny things, but I figured I'd share them with you in case you guys nitpick at things as well. This pattern is up and down, and if I would have known I was doing it sideways, I would have preferred to switch so the pattern was correct with the orientation of the page. Again, I'm just nitpicking at this point, but something that I noticed that kind of bothered me a little tiny bit. Moving on though, because we can't change it now. So, embellishing. Let's 
see what we have in this thing. Oh, thanks, Dre. Yeah, I like it too. I think it's, it's coming along nicely. Layering things might be cute. That is Citrus Twist. This little tab is cute. It doesn't really match the blue. So I'll have to hold on to that for something else. Let's see. Whole thing. No. Let's grab another bundle. Oh, what are these little words? These might work well for a title. This one says loved. This one says start. <laughs> Can you tell that these are just a hodgepodge of things from a bunch of different places? Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Okay. No, neither of those will make a title. I mean, I know Happy Days is kind of our title, but I'm never opposed to having multiple titles to my layout. What is this one? Brave, not really suiting. It says now. Oh, that's a cute little label for a date or something. I know I already asked, but we've had some new friends come pop in since I did. What are you guys working on tonight? And or do you have anything fun planned for the weekend? Because we also talked about that at the beginning as well. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this little thing that I've got going on. And then one thing at a time, right? So we get that adhered down and some twine for the tag, and then we'll see where we end up. I'm holding it because I really liked the way it was layered. I'm just going to try to... Actually, I'll use liquid adhesive because it'll be easier. Ooh, it sounds like you're having a productive night. Homework and your habit tracker. Let those stick and dry while I find a piece of twine. Uh, this does not go over there. Let me grab a piece from my drawer behind me. Like something like that'll probably look good. So of that as well. Oh, that'll be fun. Sounds like a nice, relaxing way to spend the weekend. I think I'm just going to go with the solid color. Hooked on to everything. Okay. Cody, if I open the blinds, is it going to blind you? No, not yours. I say it will So I can open them? Yeah. Oh, it might create some funky lighting. I feel like that might have messed up our lighting situation. Maybe not. I'll let you guys tell me. Which 
should have gone the other way and fixed that. <laughs> Debating the bag of Cheeto or Doritos. Where did that go? There it is. The natural lighting may have thrown off our white balance a little, but I can see a lot better. So I am going to leave it, but I hope that you guys can see well as well. That was a Okay, it's coming along. It's looking cute. I'm going to adhere that page. I think I might put some craft foam behind it to kind of give it a little bit of dimension because why not? Let me grab some craft foam. I just reorganized and I actually don't remember where I put it. I think it's way over here. Success. I'm going to start with the tag because it's the largest. I'm actually going to do it like that. Trim. A little like you. Put that part right there. Of course, the foam would have cat hair on it because <laughs> there's cat hair on everything. Where? why I can't move things because then I lose them. Also, I think I mentioned this in the last stream, but I finally figured out a good workflow to get those past streams up on my YouTube channel. And I got the first one done and up yesterday and I'm already almost done with the second one. So there's one that you missed or multiple that you missed. They are coming very soon. Now, let's see. This, I think this needs to be cut into strips. Kind of like a puzzle at this point. It'll work best. Ah, fun foam and double-sided tape are not the best of friends, but I prefer to use it over liquid tape for foam still. Um, just easier, I think. That there. Make sure I cut it properly. Hello, welcome. That is quite all right. We are just working on a scrapbook layout. A sideways, a landscape scrapbook layout, a nine by 12, using a really old kit from my stash and not really old, it's just old, it's not really old. Um, and then some random miscellaneous items that have been on my desk.
going to adhere this piece of foam down and then I'm going to trim it around the die cut after I've adhered it. So small, tiny pieces get kind of difficult. There we go. And I'll use that piece right there. Perfect. Now we are going to adhere this to the layout because once it's down, we can't change our mind. Not that I'm going to because I actually really like this little thing we've put together here. Go you. It always feels good to finally get a layout done that you've been working on for a while. Don't forget, if you guys are making anything tonight, share it on Insta or one of our social media platforms using the hashtag MIMCraftyStream. It's right there on the screen. So that way after the stream, go stock your guys' projects. I think I'm going to put it right there. That's up a little higher than I did, than I positioned it initially. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of preferred it down a bit more, but that'll leave a spot for our label right here for the date. And I think I want something behind the label. I just don't know what yet. Hmm. Um, oh, you know what might be fun? Let's see. Hmm. Where did it? Where is it? Here. I'm going to put a strip of washi it's like a dark wood grain so it'll kind of match this a little bit Here's, where did I put those here they are Trying to slip it underneath the photo. There we go, like that. Okay. Then still feels like it needs like a flower or something behind it. Let's see what we have around here. Where are my florals? Oh, they're back. I'm telling you guys, I can't find anything since I reorganized. Here's some word strip stickers and stamps that might be fun. And here are a bunch of die cuts. Let's see if we can find anything in here. this thing. Oh, that's cute. It says gather memories, flowers, and then some random die cut packs. This one's kind of all about vacation, but since Melissa was down visiting us, I feel like it kind of goes, she was on like a little mini vacation. And we treated it kind of like a staycation, so I feel like a lot of these might be able to work. Summer, no, no, mm, no, 
Good night, Amber. Thanks for coming in while you for coming and joining us while you could. Okay, I was wrong. That one's not gonna work. Let's see. I bet I can find something in here that'll work well. It's a bit too bright. That one's kind of cute. It's a little vellum flower. That one might work. That one might work. Make my own little clustery thing, which would work for... The, the majority of the options in there. I think we can make one of these two things work really well. So let's see. Here's one option. The two flowers on the top. But I'm also thinking it might be fun if there were like flowers at the bottom of the label instead. That. Or. that I'm not a fan of this one so I'm gonna stick with these two I just need to figure out if I like it best flowers above the label or below the label they do nest nicely underneath the happy days but I think they're they have more impact below the label with something like something like that I think that's kind of the best of both it's above and below yes okay. I'll leave that flower never mind I just moved it I was going to leave that flower where it was because as a vellum flower Keep moving it. Adhering it is going to be tough without seeing the adhesive. So I'm just going to let the double-sided tape from the back of the label keep the flower adhered to the page. Add a little bit to this guy. Up down as well. I'm liking it. I think it's coming along nicely. Oh, I left this leaf out in case I wanted to use it, but I don't think it needs it. I think we could even get a little tiny bit of liquid adhesive behind that vellum piece so that it's extra secure. Um, it's pretty secure, but I could see it falling off eventually. There we go. Cody, are you able to quickly tell me which, are you watching that thing? I'm listening to it. <sighs> I wanted to listen to it with you. Uh, will you quickly tell me which day your mom was here when we went to uh, the, the brewery? brewery? Um, yeah, we'll take Hannah. Okay, that's fine. I will do something else while you do that. Thank you for doing that for me. Mm -hmm. All right, now. Was it the day we picked her up? In the airport? Saturday? I think so. I can actually, I probably still have the photo on my phone, actually. I'll just do that. Okay, do you know what month it was? Yeah, it was uh, April. Okay, thank you. I can find it. That's okay. I have the photo in here somewhere, so I'm just going to... Oh, 
Oh, here we are. Here it is. April 6th. Yeah, it's the day we picked her. Thank you. Six. Oh, I just got black all over my hands. Perfect spot for the date. Now comes the rest of the embellishing, which I think I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm thinking some little wood veneer clusters and then some splatters and then a little tiny bit of journaling right here. So let's do that. Uh, my pen. Where is my pen? There it is. Um, I guess I have to think of something to say before I journal, right? Oh my goodness. Days on takes forever to get off. So my thumb was stained bright blue from last stream, from Tuesday's stream, um, until this morning when I washed my hair. And for some reason, my shampoo, like, completely got rid of all of the blue ink that was staining my thumb. So I was... Pretty impressed by that. I don't know what in the shampoo did it, but I was I was shocked. Um okay. Said a few words. <laughs> I think um perfect that's exactly what I was picturing it looking like nice um I think it has to do with um what is it's like an oil. It's not an actual oil because like obviously oil makes your your scalp greasy, but it's like a dry oil that's in this shampoo and I don't remember the name of it now, but I'm pretty sure that's what took it off. It's a fairly clean brand shampoo, so I think it's, I guess it could be exciting if we figured out what the dry oil was and we could use that to take the... <laughs> our ink stains off from now on i'll have to look into it i wonder now okay clusters let's see i have to first figure out where exactly now i know when i have although i actually don't mind when my hands are stained i feel a lot i feel very like myself when my hands are stained because Mixed media makes me really happy, so I don't necessarily mind it, but, you know, there are certain scenarios where you need to get the ink off your hands so you don't look like a crazy person. So, I might need it one day. Let me figure out where I want my clusters. I have no idea. I kind of feel like I need a flower behind this corner to pull the flowers over. Let's see. No, that's way too big. I think I just, I did. I crinkled the, well, darn. <laughs> I crinkled this back sheet of tissue paper or whatever you want to call it when I stuck that flower in there, so. 
I feel like I just need something up here because I want a cluster up there, but I just, a cluster on its own will be kind of silly. So I'm trying to find a, an easy embellishment to pull the cluster that way. Let's see if we can find a smaller, it's so bright. Do like a wood grain, a wood grain, wood grain leaf. And what else do we have in here? There's another wood grain leaf. I think I've used most of the. T oh wait, okay. Let's see. I think I see some really tiny flowers in here. At the bottom. There's one. This one. Okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. So let me take that out. This one is like um, vellum with text on it. So I'm thinking mix it up, do one wood grain and one of the vellum with the text. Let's put this one on that side. This one down here. And then that's super tiny. Here it is. Okay, I think I think something like that. That flower is a really bright flower, which I'm not crazy about, but this one's very realistic looking, so it's not even the same style. So I think I have to go with the darker one, which is fine, I suppose. Could. Try something like. This, since it's all one piece. I just make it easier. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with the other one. Okay, let's. I'm gonna use liquid adhesive again for the vellum, and just put a little bit on the stem, since we're gonna slide that piece behind our photo. that and put a little bit right here ah that scared me <laughs> i really wish less of this bright pink flower would show i think i might trim a little like V shape so that it can fit around the corner of this um, photo and tuck in a bit more like that because it is a really bright pink. Um, I don't necessarily want a ton of that bright pink popping out. So there we go. Now back to these ones. thing is almost empty. One right there. Ugh, I keep getting glue everywhere. That right there. That's nice because it pulls in the dark wood grain from over on that side. And then this last little flower. Hi, Sylvia. I'm glad you were able to join. Okay, I like that. I'm happy with that. Now we can start our clusters without the one over here feeling like it was getting lost. Ah. 
What are you up to tonight, Sylvia? Are you crafting? Are you just watching? Okay, that. Couple over here. I need one other little sprinkly type thing to mix in with these. So I'm thinking, I'll grab this other little thing back here. Ah, it has a ton of random things in it, but it also has some tiny little gold hearts. That sometimes, I mean, they're very glittery. But sometimes they're okay to p toss in there. That one right there, and one over here as well. There we go. That'll work. I mean, I do. I did kind of want the gold to be. You know what? I think what I might do. I wanted the gold to be the the gold splatters to be the only gold on the album. So I think instead of doing gold hearts, I'm gonna do enamel dots. And I believe I have some heart enamel hearts. So let's see. Oh, fun. Is it a mini album for a special occasion or just one that you've been wanting to work on? Um, let's see. This little one. It's a very tiny enamel heart, like extremely tiny. Almost hard to put it in place because it is so small. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Just kind of flailing all over the place. It's not it's like suctioned to the paper. It's very strange. Okay, there. Almost. Oh, fun. I love that. It's very thoughtful of you. I like that. Okay. Let's see. Well, here are more hearts. Those are kind of vibrant for the color palette we're working with. I have a lot of stars. Here's some more hearts, a couple more hearts, and then some large hearts. Okay. Now we have a lot of <laughs> we have a lot of options going on. Um this one matches the yellow in the layout more, so I'm going to go ahead and put those away. These, the hearts, are huge. I'm kind of going for a dainty feeling or look. Um, these ones, I actually like the navy, but we have navy in here, so yeah, I guess we're just going to stick to these ones. We're going to use one of these navy ones over here. I think it'll tie in the blue from this paper nicely, even though they're not the same shade of blue. They are, they do complement each other. Again, these are, they're from Gossamer Blue, so they are on the older side. They're like nearly impossible to put into place. There we go. And one more for up here. I think we'll go with the yellow again. Actually, maybe we'll add two on this side. Because I love clusters of three. We all know this. One. And do a small blue one. Over here. Ah, I'm losing it. It's slipping. <laughs> it's like too thick to use with the tweezers, but too like difficult to position without them. So I don't really know. There 
right now I'm just moving it to a bunch of different places to see where it looks best. Um, clusters are a little ah, art form in their own. Really work on them to get the placing right. I think I like that. No, I don't like that there. Um, perhaps right here. Oh my goodness. Slippery little thing. Right there. That'll work. I'm not crazy about it. I don't know what. I'm having an issue with this blue one. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay, nice. All right. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. I think we need splatters now. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do a navy border, and I'm thinking the answer is yes because the answer is most likely always yes when it comes to borders. Um, I feel like it'll really tie it together, and it's always easiest to do that before you do your splatters. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this navy blue micron just get a little border going on over here it is a really messy border which i'm okay with To do this one this way. Okay, do a couple little designy things. Oh, I forgot the bottom border. I guess we kind of need that. And now for the splatters. Where's my, there it is. I feel like we're all really quiet tonight. Thursday night, maybe we should start doing, I really wanna get back to doing Tuesday and Saturday. For the last few weekends, we've had family visiting, so maybe next weekend we'll give that a go. I should have done the journaling in, oh, before we, we need to do stamping. I should have done the journaling in navy, but I'm going to stamp in black, so it's, it'll all work out. It'll tie together nicely. Um, I'm going to go with documented, of course. Best way to start any stamping cluster. I know, Saturday streams are fun because I feel like I'm really awake and alive. Thursday nights are nearing the end of the week and tell I'm not the only one that's kind of like pooped and just wants to veg out and stare off into space. We will aim for next Saturday doing a Saturday stream. Those are really fun. Got the word documented in there. I'll leave that open. So I'm gonna do one to two other phrases. I don't know which ones yet. I guess I should figure out where I want them. I think I wanna do one right up here. So for that one, we'll do details of today because that's kind of what this layout is about.
That's cute. I like that too. Okay. We're getting somewhere now. The sepia ink color would also look really nice on this layout. Um, I think I want to do one more like right here. And I'm going to do, what am I going to do? My people. Do I want that right there or do I want it right like yeah I guess right there looks nice while I'm getting this stamped I'll go ahead and get those get that Sue's stuff is that what we decided to call it I never remember I keep wanting to call it Sue's things stream things we'll get the, the things out of the way so as always don't forget to follow along on twitch if you're not already it is different than subscribing it does help the channel grow but it also helps more people find our crafty community so that we can have them join us each week you can join the creatives club facebook group i just put out a new freebie there the link to that is in my instagram bio i like that there and then of course don't forget to follow along on instagram twitter and facebook for any stream schedules, updates, news, things like that. If you are an Amazon Prime member, you want to use your free subscription, we have a, a subscriber exclusive download library and there are link, there's a link to that. Where's the link to that? It's also in my Instagram bio, but it's below as well if you have any questions. And then most importantly, don't forget to share your creations with that hashtag, MIM Crafty Stream on Instagram so that we can all see them. Okay, got the stamp. Time to do the splatters. Suze's stream stuff. I okay, that's the winner. I'm going to remember it now. Suze News. You guys are good at naming things. I'm coming to you next time I need to name stuff. Cody, stream manager. I have an error on my screen over here if you'd like to look at it. An yeah. Sue's News. Drea likes that too. See it? Oh, that's just on the preview. Okay. I didn't know if I needed that. No, this. just look for this. Got it. Green means you're still streaming. Green means go. Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, Sue's News it is. And I gave you all your, your Sue's News tonight. I don't have anything else to say. Oh, wait, I lied. I do have one more thing to say. Crafty Lady t-shirts are only available until Monday. So if you want one and you haven't gotten it yet or you forgot or you haven't heard about them, there is a link in my Instagram bio where, where all the links are to get yourself a Crafty Lady t-shirt. This is what I've been looking for so that I didn't splatter on my desk. There are a bunch of different style and size options. The print is really nice. It's printed on the shirt not like it's not like a transfer it's like in the material the material is dyed which I love I actually got a question about that on Instagram today which is why I got to mention that that's it I'm really excited about them I can't wait for everybody to start receiving them so that I could see them on bodies that's the most exciting I like Sue's news also so thank you Sylvia for that that name. I like it a lot. Okay, and then at the top here. Cody, I am proud to tell you that I am splattering. <laughs> the layout now has splatters. Thought you'd be more excited about it, but it's okay. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. What was that? I'm really tired. I can tell. I am too, though. And we're gonna have to wait till like we're gonna be up for like three more hours. Yes, we are. We're staying up past our bedtime tonight to wait for my mom to get here. Isn't that like Jersey esque? Whatever they call it, they call it like a Jersey tea or something like that. Isn't that thing so cute? That's what sparked this entire crafty lady T-shirt 
situation. I mean, not really. I wanted a t-shirt that said crafty lady, but that's what really like got the ball rolling on the whole thing was when I saw that, I had to have it. And I knew I wasn't the only one. Alrighty, let's get you guys up close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Almost dropped it. Thank you. I know she appreciates that as well. Hey, I like your sleepy mind if it comes up with those great names. Okay, here we are. I'm not turning on autofocus because we all know it's not going to work. I'm going to tell you right now. For the way we started out, the way it is now, I really like it. Totally a good call on the horizontal landscape layout, Drea. So thank you for that. And thank you to everyone else who gave me their suggestions and such. I really like the way it turned out. And yes, it's very exciting that my mom will be here. I am looking forward to getting crafty this weekend with her. Alrighty, it is a few minutes before when we normally end, but I think I'm gonna call it here because my tired brain just cannot do anymore. I'm gonna go eat some ice cream, vegan ice cream, but still ice cream, and veg out until she gets here. Alrighty, friends. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll still be around on Instagram, so don't forget to share your creations with me. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yes, nice cream. That is a great name for it. I think that's what a lot of people call it. I appreciate you guys for joining me here each week. Don't forget to pay attention on Instagram on Sunday for next week's stream schedule. Alrighty, guys. Oh, love you back, Drea. Okay. Bye, guys.